I started my career in 1983 in London as a humble financial analyst. Which one of my colleagues here say David X and humble, never. Uh, but anyway, I was given a PC. They did have PCs in those days. They weren't very portable. Uh, Luggable might have been a better description. Uh, the PC did not have a hard drive. And it certainly didn't have a connection to the cloud to store all its data. It actually had two five-inch, some of you may remember three-inch floppy disk drives that weren't floppy. Well, the five-inch ones actually were floppy. You could bend them, you could play Frisbee with them, they were really cool. One of those disks was the program disk, and the other was the data disk. The program disk in those days was the Excel of its day, which was Lotus 1, 2, 3. And the data disk was where I stored my files. And as a humble financial analyst in London in 1983, what did I spend my day doing? I mucked about with spreadsheets. And my first two promotions were solely on the fact that I knew more about Lotus 123 than anyone else in the building. And you could actually make a whole career on being what we called in those days a spreadsheet jockey. If you knew how to manipulate spreadsheets better than anybody else, you could build a career around that. Well, here we are, 34 years later. We've had massive transformation in technology. You know, I remember when ERP was MRP and MRP was just a general ledger. It's been truly transformational. You walk through the average finance organization today and look what the CPAs and the MBAs who are making good money are actually doing in their working life. And finally, we have moved away from the floppy disk. We may even have moved away from the hard drive. We've moved from Lotus to Excel. But by common benchmarks, 65% of an average finance professional's time today is still spent mucking about with spreadsheets. Can you think of another area of human existence that has been less impacted by technology over the last 34 years? It's true. It's the world we live in. And I've been waiting. I've been waiting for the hype to match the reality around technology. Someone told me a joke a long time ago. What does SAP really stand for? It stands for solves all problems. And I've been waiting. And we're getting close. We are approaching, and I think we actually hit the tipping point where technology truly delivers the real value that we have expected and demanded and been frustrated about not getting but close to, in my personal situation, three decades. The wave of digital transformation in finance is gonna make ERP look like a child's play. It is fundamentally restructuring nearly every role and job. 